questions? Okay. One more I'm going to ask you here. Okay, page 31, question 16. Is it copper or aluminum here? Copper. So, let's go there. By the way, guys, we're doing page 31, question 16. Copper and NS75 or NS90? 75. So, guys, the table I'm going to choose is what? 36B. 36B. Okay. Duplex, triplex, or quadruplex? Duplex. In duplex, which is two wires, what is the opacity that you guys see? Or am I given opacity and I'm looking for conductor size? Yes. Okay. So the question said 12240. So for actually guys, I'm wrong. If it's not, if it's 12240, then we're talking about triplex. Luckily it's the same column. Yeah. But you know triplex has three wires. He didn't say in the question 120 volt single phase system, 12240 is two phases, one neutral, which is what? A triplex. So opacity is 200 amps given. Under 200 amp, what's my closest match? Which is referring to how many amps? 205. 205? 205 amps, that refers to number one. Good job, done. Okay, let's do the next one. Panitia, you're gonna help me with the next one. What's given after page 31, question 16? Page 33, question 15. Perfect, tell me what's given. This is NS90 number four. And it's 90, and it's number 4, okay? Aluminum. Aluminum. So we are going to follow table 36A. Okay, and it's, so it's duplex, triplex, or quadruplex? It's, it's installing two conductors. Two insulated conductors means two lines, two plus lines. neutral. Yes. So it's still a triplex. Two insulated means two line. Okay? Yeah. So number 4, NS70, oh, you already gave me NS90. Yeah. All you're going to tell me is. The conductor opacity, which is? Number four. Yeah. Which is how many amps? Oh, this is uh, 125. 125 amps? Yeah, and uh, one more. Degree. One more step? Yes, this is going to be 35 degree. 35 degree C rated, so? Yes, so we have to go into point nine four. Nine four. Perfect. Where did you find this number? It's a it's the right underneath the table. Yeah. Perfect. The note says that for 35 degree C, the derating factor is? 0.94 multiplied by 125 amps. So what do you what did you get here? 117.5 amps. Awesome job. All done. Okay. Last question. Can I raise the top one, guys? Okay. Done for you too. Not the bottom one, but top one. All right, my dear, I'm going to ask um, Abraham to help me. Question 17, Abraham, what's given? Uh, in order to supply 150 amps to an outbuilding with voltage requirement of 120 or 1240, that means it is uh, triplex. triplex. Uh -huh. uh, what size of the NS90 copper? Copper. Supported cable would be what? Neutral supported cable? And it's copper? Yeah, it's copper. So what table? It is uh, copper table is 33. Perfect. What's my opacity in uh, NS90 column? In NS90 column it is uh, 205. That means... 150? There is no other oh, number close by to 150? Yeah. 155. 155 amps. Yeah. That refers to? Four. Number 4? Four? Four. Number 4. Number 4. Yeah. Yeah. you with, with the six tables I showed you, table one to table four. Actually, we did table five C as well. I have not shown you one more table. Quickly, I'm going to quickly take you there and then I'll give you guys your lunch break. I want you to go to table five A. Yes, my dear? Yeah. Yeah, it's right, guys. 
Because 122 40 means two phases. Two phases means two wires per line plus a neutral. So three wires. If I would say just 120 volt single phase, then it's a duplex. Because one line, one neutral. Okay? Alright guys, you are with me on table 5A. Okay? We're gonna do one question together. You are gonna go with me to your section 4 homework as well. Question number one. Okay, we're gonna do this together. Following table two and table five C and then five A as well afterwards. Such that I can explain you what five A is for. Okay? Question one. On the homework assignment and table five A. What this type table is for, guys, is if you see table five A. Room ambient for all the four tables I've taught you, table one to table four, it's good for only 30 degrees C. If the room ambient goes beyond 30, we gotta degrade further. That's when we use table 5A, okay? Now question number one in your material says, what is the maximum opacity of each conductor when I'm installing 10 wires number four in an EMT, EMT when the ambient is 40? Okay, how we're gonna do this? Let's do this together. Okay, if the ambient was not mentioned, we will assume 30. But because ambient is given, we gotta go one more step after finishing table two and table five C. Okay, so you guys are gonna do this with me. All I know in this question, by the way guys, we are on section four, homework. What page number are we on? 33. 33 and we are on question number one. one. Perfect. We are given copper, okay, and they are in a conduit. So we know we are going to go to table two, okay. And table two for number four, 90 degrees C rated. What's my answer? 130 amps, guys. Do you want to check? 95. 95. 95. Okay. 95 amps on table 2. Okay? How many wires are there? 10 wires. So I will need it using table 5C. What is the derating factor? 70%. So 95 times 0.7 leads to? Do the math. 66.5. 60.5? 66.5 amps. I would stop right here if I was not told, told anything about ambient. Because it says that the ambient of this room is beyond 30, in this case it's 40. I gotta go one step further, which is table 5A. Okay? So table 5A, I'd like each one of you to go there. Look for 90 column and 40 row. It's 0 0.91. 0 0.91? So 66.5 times 0.91, what do you get? Multiply both numbers for me. Sixty 60.51 will be my final answer. As I said, if ambient would not be mentioned, and that's what I taught you before I showed you the neutral supported uh, table tables as well, you stop right here. But because ambient was beyond 30, we are going to derate further, which led to 60.5 amps. Anything I can help you guys with this stuff before we go for our lunch? Alright, so right now it's what? Come back by 120. Okay? So see you back at 120, guys.